May 1943, Berlin, Nazi Germany. Horst Kohn, a 12-year-old Jewish boy, together with his parents, are among the last Jews in Berlin to be deported to one of the Nazi concentration camps. After years of immense torture and humiliation, the worst is yet to come. The train's destination is Theresienstadt, an evil Nazi concentration camp and ghetto in the protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. Horst Kohn was born on May 21, 1931 in Berlin, and he was only two years old when Hitler came into power in 1933. Horst's father was the only Jewish master tailor in all of Germany, and his first memory relates to the Berlin Olympics in 1936. Although Nazis passed numerous anti-Jewish laws before the Olympics, Hitler wanted the Olympics to be held in Germany, and still curbed his behavior. However, after the 1936 Summer Olympics, the lives of Jews in Germany changed dramatically. As a result of the Nuremberg race laws, Jews were forbidden to go to cafes, theaters, parks, or the movies. Horst as a child could no longer attend German school, only Jewish school. The Jews could not possess telephones, newspapers, radios, or musical instruments. Thus, Horst's family had to give up their piano and guitar, but Horst managed to keep his harmonica, which would later save his life. The Jews were neither allowed to use wheeled transportation, trains, buses, trams, bicycles, nor to own pets. They could go to shops for only one hour a day from 4 until 5 p.m., when all the food was already rotten and inedible. In 1938, Horst's grandfather was taken into Sachsenhausen concentration camp. He was released after a few weeks after the intervention of his mother. He told his family how they had to shovel piles of sand every morning while being whipped by the SS guards, and marched 12 hours a day on mud or rocks to test the most suitable leather for the shoes of marching German soldiers for the war which was to come. Horst experienced the Nazi torture too. On his way to school, he was beaten by Hitler's youth almost every day. The so-called Aryan boys enjoyed beating him with a 40-centimeter stick attached to a 2.5-meter long leather cord at the end of which was a metal ball. They beat him until he was covered with blood and laughed at him. When Horst, covered with blood, asked them why, they replied, because you are a Jew. At that time, whoever laid hands on anybody walking in uniforms in Germany was to be punished. So, when Horst's father accompanied Horst to school, the father could not do anything to help his son, and the Hitler's youth boys did the same thing to Horst again. Horst solved this problem by going to school only after the Aryan Nazi children had left, and in the end, Horst stopped going to school at all and closed himself in their apartment for two years with his seven books and harmonica. When on May 7, 1943, two SS men knocked on the door to deport Horst and his parents to the concentration camp, he was at home alone. He managed to call his parents to come home only after he had told the SS men he could play the harmonica. Horst played all the folk songs he had learned to play during the years when he had been closed off at home like a prisoner. Suddenly, the SS guard saw a human being in Horst and let him wait for his parents. When Horst and his parents were brought into the hall of the school situated on the outskirts of Berlin, benches, chairs, and tables were removed, and there was nothing but the floor. To humiliate the poor Jews as much as possible, the Nazis removed all the restroom doors so that everyone in the hall saw others going to the restroom. They even took away the toilet paper under the pretense that Jews wouldn't need it. After all this humiliation, the poor Jews were deported, but not put in cattle cars as it was happening in other parts of Europe, but instead on a passenger train so that people in Berlin wouldn't see how the Germans were treating the Jews. The destination of the train was Theresienstadt, the evil Nazi concentration camp and ghetto in the protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips, give us a like, and see you in the following episode.